Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me once again. Today we are going to be talking butter. Now, if you go into your dairy aisle in the supermarket, this is something similar to what your aisle may look like. You've got all kinds of butter, all kinds of brands. Some are better for baking, some are better on toast, some are just better in general. There's all kinds. Some are heart healthy, some are not. So I want to show you uh, the different types of butter that I have and the ingredients. So you see most of the butter we use are vegetable oil spreads. This one has a bunch of ingredients in it. There's water, soybean, soybean oil, vinegar, flavors, all these type of things you can't even pronounce. And then you have the pure Irish butter. Take a look at these ingredients. Pasteurized cream, salt, and milk. That's it. And this is going to be your purified butter. Now, I am going to flavor my butter today. You really only need one ingredient, but I really want to make some herb and garlic butter. So I am just going to roast one head of garlic, put it in the oven with some olive oil on top on 400 degrees. I'm going to leave it there for 15 minutes, and this is the finished product. You got your roasted garlic. Skip over this part if you only want to make butter. So here is your ingredient. You got heavy cream. I am just showing you how to flavor the butter. Heavy cream is all you need, but there's my roasted garlic and I got a few tablespoons of parsley. Now you wanna pour the heavy cream into your mixing bowl. This is one and a half cups of heavy cream. Start mixing with your hand mixer. Let it gyrate, keep it going, keep it going. And the key to doing this is to blending it really fast on like maybe a medium uh, number four on that hand mixer and what you'll start to see is that the heavy cream is going to start to get thick as you can see you are getting the stiff peaks which is exactly what you want keep blending keep blending and now look what you've got the butter is starting to separate it's starting to get a lot of thicker and you're going to see the buttermilk form this liquid here is the buttermilk now the most important part of this stage is making sure you strain that buttermilk off. If you don't strain the buttermilk off, then your butter will putrefy and it'll spoil in about two days or so and that's not really what you want. So I am just straining the buttermilk off and now we're going to wash it. Yes, you do have to wash this butter. You gotta wash all of that buttermilk off because we really don't want our butter to turn sour. You can do this multiple times. I did this about two to three times just to make sure I got a lot of the buttermilk off. So continue rinsing, keep rinsing. And now what you really want to do is shake it off. Go ahead and vibrate it from side to side. Take it back over to your mixing bowl. And now what we're going to do is flavor it. This is really your butter here. You can stop right here if this is what you want. You don't want flavored butter, but we are gonna flavor this butter. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt in there. Most use kosher salt. I got my roasted garlic over here, and I'm just gonna toss in about two or three garlic cloves, some fresh parsley. Go ahead, sprinkle that all in there. And now I'm just going to work the garlic and the parsley into the butter using my hand. Now, what I want you to do is grab some parchment paper and roll the butter inside of it. And this is going to give it a nice form so that you can slice the butter into cubes or however you choose to do it. I just use parchment paper and now you're going to roll it up like a candy, roll it real tight and now your butter is ready. That's it. So fast, so simple. I'm going to spread it on some organic wheat toast. It's so delicious. Look at this. Look, look at this up close melted butter. Look at that. It's so rich. It's so creamy. It's unlike any of the butters you've bought on the shelf. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.